So I want to take some time to review factoring. Um, there are essentially three methods to factoring. The first is finding a greatest common factor and pulling it out front, call that GCF. The second is the difference of perfect squares. You'll often hear us refer to that as dots for difference of two perfect squares, or two, difference of two squares. That's where dots comes from. And the third method is product sum, which is probably the one you'll use the most often. You'll sometimes hear that or see that called split the middle, and you'll see why as we go over it. Often people will call it factoring by grouping. It all means the same thing. We usually say product sum, sometimes it's split the middle or grouping. So let's just run through some examples. Um, the first one, if you're asked to factor something like 2n squared plus 14. The first thing you always look for is something common to pull out. Here, 2 divides into both parts, so we pull that out front, and we're left with n squared plus 7. Real basic, GCF, or greatest common factor. The second example, if you're asked to factor something like y squared minus 49, well, that's a two-termed problem, and both of them are perfect squares. They're separated by subtraction, which is a difference. So you square root each piece and get y minus 7, y plus 7. That order of multiplication doesn't matter, so it doesn't matter what order your factors are in. Third example is an example of product sum factoring. So we're going to factor 2x squared plus 17x plus 35. We'll be pretty careful about the way we review this because it is important that you're very good at this. So we look for the product using our A and C terms. So here, A is 2, C is 35, so we're looking for a product of 70. The sum is your B term, which in this case is 17. So we need to factor 70. 1 times 70, 2 times 35 and so on until we find the factors that give us a sum of 17. In this case it's 7 and 10. So I take that 7 and 10 and I rename that 17x as 7x and 10x. We split the middle. Rename your middle term. Bring down the front term and bring down the last term. Now you split the middle again and you take a common factor out of each side. On my left I have a common x and I'm left with 2x plus 7. On the right, I have a common factor of 5, so I'm left again with 2x plus 7. In parentheses, you have a new common factor. Those will always be the same. Sometimes that helps me figure out how to factor. And then the leftovers are your second factor. So 2x squared plus 17x plus 35 factors to 2x plus 7 times x plus 5. The last two examples I'll do are mixed. We'll have to do more than one um, method of factoring. We'll have to factor completely, so combining what we've learned. So let's factor negative 2x cubed plus 162x. Well, I don't like any negatives, so I'm going to pull that out as something common. And 2x also divide into the uh, polynomial. So I've got negative 2x as a common factor, and I'm left with x squared minus 81 x squared minus 81 is the difference of two perfect squares, so that should be a quick factor, x plus 9, x minus 9. Keep your common factor out front, and there's your entire expression. Negative 2x times x plus 9 times x minus 9. For our last example, we'll factor 4x squared minus 13x plus 3. Sorry about that equals 0 at the end. We're not solving, we're just going to factor. So let me cross that out. So the product I need is 4 times 3, which is 12. A times C is your product. 4 times 3 is 12. And the sum I need is the B term, negative 13. So I'm looking for two numbers that multiply to positive 12 and add to negative 13. And that would be negative 1 and negative 12. So I split my middle, I rename it, it's negative 1x minus 12x, bring down the front and bottom. Split again, take out a common x, 
We're left with 4x minus 1 on the left. Take out a negative 3 on the right, and we're left with that same 4x minus 1. That has to be the same. That's your new common factor. So my factors now are 4x minus 1 and x minus 3. And that's it. Um, finish up. Try a couple problems in Math Excel, and we'll go over many more tomorrow.